Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So my quick bit of life coaching advice for you today. Don't let your wins go to your head and don't let your losses go to your heart. What I mean by that is don't let the wins that you have skew your thinking. Don't make projections. Don't make major life decisions on the basis of you having a good day. Always make decisions when you're emotionally and logically neutral. And on the flip side of that, don't get down on yourself, get down on your hopes and dreams just because you have a bad day. Don't let it go to your heart. What I mean by that is don't let that dictate your passion. Now, there's going to be times when, you know, you're trying to make something work, you're trying to make something work, whatever that might be in life, whether it's a relationship or a business endeavor, or perhaps you're trying to master a skill and you just can't seem to overcome certain obstacles there's going to be a point perhaps when you got to throw in the towel you don't want to be like one of these inventors that goes on shark tank or dragon's den and they have this really zany idea that only has a very small market niche that would ever be receptive to it and stake your whole life on that and end up getting shot down by the shark tank entrepreneurs who see that your idea is nonsense maybe that's not nonsense but there just isn't a market for it it's not lucrative if you're not making any progress in the long run whatsoever, then yeah, it's important that you probably go back to the drawing board. But you have to measure progress, not in days and even weeks, but possibly in months, quarters, years. So for instance, on my YouTube channel, if I was to look at the analytics from month to month, I might not see much progress. I really have to look at the analytics from year to year to actually see progress with the channel in terms of its development and were i to get down on my losses in the troughs in the valleys then i would have stopped doing this a long time ago so it's very important that you keep a level head and look at the big picture don't get high on your wins and don't get down on your losses don't let the small victories go to your head and imagine that you know it's going to be that way forever because it's probably not it's better to always stay a little bit neutral Stay a little bit apprehensive with what you do. How would this relate to survival or preparedness? Well, you may find yourself in a survival situation and you might catch five fish on the first day. There's no saying that you're going to replicate those results every single day. I'm not saying there's not moments for celebration and even a little bit of overindulgence at times, but you have to be thinking long term. You always have to be thinking long term because that old saying, feast and famines, that's what survival was about for hundreds of thousands of years. If there wasn't feasts, there was famines. There was very little in between. So it's very important that you never got high on those feasts to a point where you expected that to be a constant. It's better to always look at the average of your accomplishments and never ever make major life decisions on the basis of an isolated win. One of those rare wins that you get in life you know, you just have those days once in a while where you're just winning. Now, if you were to project that into the future, base your life decisions on a rare event like that, you're very likely going to be making some poor decisions in the long term. I think one of the main keys to success is to never tell yourself you're successful. In order to constantly be in a state of growth, there also needs to be a state of constant hunger. And there was this one guy, he was a baseball player. He lived out of his van. I don't even know if he's still a baseball player. But, you know, he was making several hundred thousand dollars a year. But he wanted to continue to live in his van because that's how he stayed inspired. One of the biggest mistakes a YouTuber can make is forgetting why you started your channel in the first place. And you'll find that there are people who uh, remembered why they started their channel and they're not stagnant they continue to evolve the channel but they do it in a way which is still going to be relevant to one of their viewers that they had five or six years ago than it would be today and that's a challenging thing to do because the natural tendency is to want to refine something over time but we must always remember what the initial allure was in the first place that initial spark of authenticity that attracted people to us as youtubers but i'm speaking in generally with regards to not getting high on your wins, not getting down on your losses. Anyways, just a quick little motivational life coach tip for you today. I hope you found that useful. The best way to support this channel is to prepare yourself at Canadian Preparedness. 
Canadianprepper.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Prepper out. And we have a EDC video coming up this week. We have a video about martial law coming up this week. And I have a major project in the works, which is coming down the pike in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. Talk to you soon. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.